field for the fourth race. Moving in behind the home hardware building center starting gate. It's post time. Race number four of the afternoon has Prince Adam, Camco Willow, June Bugs Baby, Don't Stand in My Way, Lively Freddy, Stars Above, Bob Johnsky, and Puddin' Pie. We are off and uh, pacing with June Bugs Baby getting the first call as they race into the first turn. Cam Coelho away second up on the far outside and uh, driving up into three. That is Stars Above, followed it in four by Don't Stand In My Way. And next in line from five as they head to the backside is Prince Adam. Taking a seat in six, that's Lively Freddy. Further on back to Bob Johnsky and Puddin' Pie is the early trailer. They battle for the lead as they race past the opening panel. June Bugs Baby in the outside has the lead, but not the rail. That's controlled by Cam Coelho, who presses on as they race out of the three eights. Cam Coelho has parked out June Bugs Baby, enjoying the journey behind them in the pocket. He is stars above racing third. Looking at it from four, that's Don't Stand in My Way, a gap of some three lengths. Back in five, we find Prince Adam campaigning the rail in six. That's Lively Freddy. And out the back, Bob Jonsky and Puddin' Pie as they near the half. 28 seconds flat was the quarter. They're battling still up front for the lead. On the inside, Cam Coelho outside. June Bugs Baby gets the parking ticket second. Then stars above the golden journey in the pocket third. Moving off the rail to the outside. Don't stand in my way. He is now spotted second over in four. Fifth inside. That's Prince Adam. Lively Freddy now underway on the outside. Trying to catch up to the cover in a six. Three. High from seven is Bob Jonsky. And treading pudding pie. The high 57 and three. A tight bunch as they race past three quarters. And look at Bob Jonsky out in the four wide path. He is continuing to gain ground and will reach the lead now. That's Bob Jonsky to take over. Lively Freddy right on his is back on the inside that's don't stand in my way sitting second lively freddy third up on the outside putting pie is fourth they continue on past the seven eights and off the top turn and they're led by bob jonsky two lights lead but lively freddy trying to reel him in second on the inside don't stand in my way is racing a third back fourth for putting pie on down the stretch bob jonsky but lively freddy has aim on the outside and lively freddy will reach up to what it bob jonsky is second third is don't stand in my way. Mile in two minutes flat. Well, uh, we were right about a couple of things here. Uh, race number four, it was setting up for a closer and the top three finishers from off the pace. I thought Bob Jonsky was going to get there when he swooped them four wide at three quarters. Uh, just didn't have enough to finish it off. And here comes the favorite, Lively Freddy, to pick up the pieces at four to five. A red do set on board. Uh, coming on late here aboard Lively Freddy for two in a row with Churro. The seven, Bob Jonsky is holding a second over the four. Don't stand in my way, who had a nice brush going up by three quarters as well. A two-minute mile for Lively Freddy, and uh, that early speed just didn't hold up. A June Bugs Baby and a Camco Willow uh, fighting for the lead through a half of 57 and three, and that was enough for those two today as the backfield swarmed in. It finishes a 574. We're ice cold here on race number four for the try, and we've got Lively Freddy coming back to the winner's circle. Second training victory on the day for George Redison. Red Doucette on board for the victory.
Back in the winner's enclosure, the fourth race winner, number five, Lively Freddy. Eight-year-old Chestnut Gellett's on a pan-specific flight with the no-pan intended dam, pan voyage. Owned by Andrea Renison, Annette Matthews, and Clarissa Mahar. Trained by George Renison, driven a victory by Redmond Doucette. Lively Freddy, pacing the mile in two minutes flat. 